What's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm Blake McLean and I'm a music producer. I'm also in desperate need of a haircut. <laughs> Thank you everybody is at this point. Quarantine is awful. Uh, anyways, so I'm reacting to 21 Pilots level of concern today. It's kind of like a filler thing. Um, because I'm doing Young Blood on Wednesday. I know you're all stoked for that. And I'm thinking about trying to do Halsey um, Manic, her entire album as well this week. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Doing as much as I can, as quick as I can. I've got to study too, which is crazy. I'm in law school, by the way. <laughs> Nuts. Um, okay, so I, yeah, I'm stoked to do 21 Pilots today. And I actually, like, I, um, I was in a group, we, uh, we booked these guys a long time ago, like, what, before they even had a, a deal with anything, they had just put out, they had their first EP, it had like car radio on it, it had like holding on to you on it, like trees, some stuff like that. And um, we ended up booking them like three, four times. Actually, it was probably two or three, but it was because they were just unbelievable. They literally, they worked so hard. They played a show for five people the same way that they played a show for 5,000 people. They just put so much effort into everything they do, and it doesn't surprise me that they've ended up where they are. So, um, yeah, we're going to jump into it. Before we do, though, please give me a subscribe, give me a like if you enjoy the video, and give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram. I take, like, suggestions on there and stuff. I can talk with you all. It's so much easier than just scrolling through the comments endlessly and trying to, you know, pick things out and answer people. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get going. I'm stoked. First off, Daft Punk, Daft Punk, Daft Punk. Like, that beautiful, like, warm kick underneath, like, that tight snare that came in, and there's, like, a nice clean bass, too. It's, it's straight Daft Punk. Good for them. So what he just did there was like nice, super elongated notes um, on that verse, you know, to kind of build him into into that little pre-chorus rhythm that ba 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 dum da ba 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 like that. Oh, that's a great contrast. This the way it ends. Beautiful, like, um, brought in, like, a nice, like, uh, distorted guitar underneath, just to kind of show that it's, like, second verse there, but that hook actually worked really well. I didn't expect it to, to do that at all, and it wasn't a big drop. I talk about Charlie Puth's attention a lot, where there's that really big, you know, it leads up into this, uh, it feels like it's gonna go huge, and then it just drops to nothing. That was more like, like, I don't know, on a tiny roller coaster, <laughs> if that makes sense, but it worked so well. Because he went to, um, or we'll wait for the next hook, and then I'll, I'll make sure I'm right, and then I'll say something. Ooh, that guitar. So there was like a, it wasn't like a dissonant chord, it was like, um... Like, it's kind of, I don't know how to really explain it, but it's like a, a, a lot of times in hardcore music, you use it like right before a breakdown, you know, it's like you're pulling the chord a little bit. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great intro. Also, just side note, this song, it's it's funny that they came out with it now. Um, because, I mean, it's not funny, it's, it's actually, it makes sense. Because like, or a song like this, you know, I think it's about the quarantine. It feels like it's about the quarantine. But um, around this time of year, Artists normally release like what they want to be their summer song kind of thing. And normally they're in between like 100 BPM and like 110 to maybe 112 max BPM. And you ended up like, we had Treasure, we had um, Cake by the Ocean, which funny story about that, that I know I'll have to cover that in another one. Um, 
Cake by the Ocean, let me think. Uh, oh my gosh, Justin Timberlake, Can't Stop the Feeling, like that sort of a thing. Some of the Daft Punk stuff, um, that, like The Weeknd with them, uh, I feel, I was gonna say, I feel like a man, it's I feel like coming, because I always hear it, I feel like a man, ever since I saw this video on it, but that aside. So it's just very danceable to be within that, that BPM, and you can have a nice driving beat like this. That bass is dirty now too. They put a little distortion on the bass. It was so clean when they started. Sponsor that, da, da, whatever it was. Needed that. That was cool. Yeah, it's funny. A lot of times you wouldn't hear things like this in a song, and the reason that they that you do like a lot of those undertones, you know, and stuff like that, um, they get to play with stuff and they get to experiment with stuff, which they're amazing at. By the way, these guys are unbelievably creative. Um, but when you're in a studio, a lot of times, you know, you have a limited amount of time because you're paying a lot of money to be in there for the short period of time that you are and for the producer that you have. And, you know, the label's normally paying the money, kind of, <laughs> sort of, yeah, that's, that's a whole other thing. Um, so like you got to get in and out as quick as you can. You don't have time to experiment. You don't have time to play with things, but because they do everything on their own, they get to, you know, do whatever they want and, and just put out what they think is fun. I feel that. I so feel that. I can't tell you how many times I've written something and like I'll have everyone come up to the room and I'll be like, alright, you know, let's go because my room um, is upstairs back home and then I moved a long story. Anyways, I'll have them come in and like all gather around and be like, all right, let's go check it out. Drop the beat and then just like lose myself too. <laughs> harmonies that he just brought in, perfect. You needed something else um, coming in at the very end there to just kind of bring it up to another level. You know, they brought in the piano, now the harmonies are there. does that anymore. I'm so happy you did something like that. Nobody like talks in songs anymore and I feel like that's such a lost art. Beautifully like dry drums too. I'd expect nothing less though from him. Yeah it's totally quarantine. I love those guys. They're absolutely incredible artists, and I'm sure I have missed a billion things in this. I really didn't even get to listen to the lyrics that much because I was focusing a lot on the um, on the music. But I'm sure there's a lot of they're super poetic, so I'm sure there's dark undertones and like all sorts of just layers and layers and layers of things. So if you hear them, let me know down in the comments. Um, anyways, all that you know being said, I'll uh, check out you know. I'll hear from you guys. No, I won't hear from you all. Well, I guess I will. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Stumbling over my words.